What's going on YouTube? Godson710420 back with another awesome Pokemon Go video and we have some absolutely huge news today and in addition to the huge news we have an extension of the lore event. Uh, the lures are going to last until February 18th. They'll still go six hours as a little thank you, I guess, for all the money people spent on lures during the Valentine's Day event. So the spawns will go away, but the increased lure time will last for another three days past the 15th. So you have till the 18th to take advantage of that. In addition to that, we have official confirmation that Generation 2 Pokemon will be hitting the game sometime later this week, according to the most recent update notes that you can see on the side of the screen here. Uh, but it looks like we'll have about 80 new Pokemon to go out and start hunting for in the next week. So that is really exciting because a lot of us have been hoarding candies and a lot of different things in preparation for Generation 2 to drop. And it should bring a lot of players back to the game, which ought to be exciting, bring a lot of interest back. There's going to be new encounters, new berries, new items. So there's a lot of different things to look forward to. And in addition to that, we got confirmation for eventual trading and PvP battles. Those things are in the work and going to in the works and going to be coming soon so that's also something awesome to look out for so with all that being said today is february 15th and we have until two this afternoon here on the east coast to take advantage of the valentine's day event and that means i need to run over to philadelphia because philadelphia has been spawning crazy amounts of porygons particularly around the sporting complex so that's where we're headed today i said in my top five moments video at the end of 2016 that we were going to look to push the boundaries of south jersey potentially go in the other states maybe up north some different places so this is the first time we're going across the bridge we're going to the city of brotherly love to see if it can show some love to my pokedex so we're going to go over we're going to try to pick up a handful of porygon by hanging out around the sports complex hopefully we can maybe find something else that we could use while we're over there you know hit mon lee wink wink but yeah, we're going to get out there and we're going to see what we can get and hopefully load up on enough Porygon candies to get us going in the right direction for Generation 2. Porygon, here I come. everybody we are finally pulling up to our first Porygon he should be chilling right here at this gym up here on the right come on baby where are you at there he is there he is baby all right here we go now we got to catch this guy 228 we are not messing around we're going berry ultra ball and we are going for victory right now here we go this is green this better work great throw here we go one, two, three, yeah! That is what we needed, baby. Finally, a Porygon. Now I really don't need 5K eggs except for Togepi now. But yeah, new Pokedex entry for the first time in a long time. That is a really awesome feeling. That's oops, super stoked right now. Now there should be, as you, well, I guess, uh, none on the nearby right now but there are quite a few more around here i passed a couple other ones that showed up on the nearby by a few of the pokestops that we were passing so we are going to go ahead and see if we can't get a couple more before we head back across the bridge so let's see what we can go find
hatch two 5K eggs here real quick. We just wrapped up over here in Philly. I ended up with seven Porygon, which wasn't too bad. Two of them are over 1100 CP, which is pretty nice. I haven't checked any of the IVs yet, but I think I'm gonna head out to the Onyx nest today. I don't know if I'm gonna make it before the event ends or not, but I do need more Onyx candy, so I'm definitely probably gonna stop there a little bit later. But let's go ahead and hatch these 5K eggs. Here is the first one. What do we got inside? Hopefully a Togepi. No, a Lickitung. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever hatched a Lickitung. So, okay. I guess that's different. What's this in this 5K here? Come on. Togepi, Togepi, Togepi. I don't need poor guy anymore. Togepi. Nope. Ponyta. All right. Well, need three more 10Ks to wrap up the 9, 10K eggs. And we'll be doing those hatches soon. But for now, off to the Onyx Nest. All right, you guys, I'm wrapped up at Connolly Park. It was really tough to catch Onyx because basically the Valentine spawns are just like eating up like all the spawn points. So I was only able to catch two Onyx at the nest but that's good for at least another 14 candies or 16 candies if you factor in the transfers and stuff real quick before the event ends but we're gonna wrap up this episode with this 2k egg hatch i still need a clef i actually just got this when i got to Connolly park so let's see what we can get out of this here we go can we see the clef mm, okay i guess my egg hatch just glitched and I guess I got an execute out of a 2k egg? What just happened? Yeah, I got an execute out of a 2k egg. That's interesting. So, yeah, that wasn't a very climatic egg hatch. Holy clutch, you guys. I just found a Dratini spawn. I was actually wrapping up over a Connolly, and I saw this on the nearby. It was really far away. I'm not really sure exactly what this place is, but it's a gazebo by a lake. Here is an opportunity for me to grab at least a Dratini candy and get myself super close to that Dragonite I've been going for. So this is a really good note to wrap things up with today. Assuming this guy does not run. So let's go here. Uh, Ultra Bowl. It's green. Uh, can't get a good throw, right? Why would I get a good throw? One, two, come on, stay in the ball. Three, yes! That is absolutely amazing. Booyah, baby. I'm going to transfer you right away because you are weak. Yes, I need six more Dratini candy to get Dragonite. All right, you guys, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode of Pokemon Go South Jersey. 
I would like to give a special shout out to Butter Pigs Network for the new background. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's a lot cooler than the last one that we had. A lot more lively looking. Uh, I would also like to thank Philly Pokemap for making my Porygon hunt super easy and getting that off my plate. I only need three more pokes to complete Gen 1, and they include Dragonite, Hitmonlee, and Aerodactyl. We do have Gen 2 on the way. That is a definite confirmation, along with a bunch of other things that Niantic is working on. It seems that they're really turning the game around, but for now, I am just getting really excited for Gen 2. I'm going to wrap this episode up. I'm going to go ahead, clear out some inventory space, do some evolutions before this this event ends get the extra candies real quick before i lose that opportunity and i suggest everybody else should well by the time this video goes up should have done the same but either way be prepared for gen 2 it's going to be out in the next week and make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button if anything in this video was helpful for you also subscribe to the channel comment any places that you think we should visit because we would love to hear from you and also make sure you follow everybody on team godson they can be found on my channel page on youtube also follow me on twitter facebook and steam at godson 710 420 and until next time be easy and be prepped up for gen 2 Peace! that's me. The G O D S O N K I N G O F N Y C, that's me. Is it because?